All right. Break time. It's still old stogie from the road here, and I'm on my 10-hour break. I, uh, if you guys saw last night, I hit the road about nine-ish. It was a soft nine. It wasn't a hard nine. Hit the road and got out here to Somerville, South Carolina. Dropped off about 48,000 pounds of crown molding. That was fun. I stopped before I got to the receiver. Um, got a little bit of shut eye. Unloaded. And if you guys don't know anything, um, that's one of the things about the, some of these videos I'm going to kind of educate you about how the you know, like trucker life. Some of you guys that don't know are thinking about joining, joining the herd. Um, you have a 14-hour day. So say if you start at 7 a.m., you've got to be off the road, and these wheels have to stop by at the end of 14 hours. You're only allowed driving 11 of those hours. After 8 hours, you have to take a 30-minute break. But once you hit your 14-hour or your 11-hour, one of the two, you have to take a 10-hour break. That's what I'm doing right now. I have to take a 10-hour break, and then I've got a load in Georgetown, South Carolina that i got to pick up. That's about an hour away. i got till midnight to pick it up. And I'm going to hoof it to Calhoun, Georgia, and drop it off tomorrow before 4. <laughs> anyway, so right down the road from uh, my receiver this morning is a Flying J truck stop. Went in, got a nice shower. You get dirty flatbed, folks. It's sweaty and dirty. So I went in there, did that. Came out to the truck, made myself a sandwich. And now I'm having a cigar. Stogie having a cigar in his truck. And it's fun. Got my feet up on the dash, and I'm relaxing. Finish my cigar. Maybe go for a little walk around the truck stop, pound some water, and then I'm gonna get some sleep. Gonna get a little shut eye before I hit the road again. Um, addressing some of the stuff that I've talked to you guys about, I did the little trailer of the videos that I'm gonna be doing that are gonna be a lot like this, and then you're gonna see some of the loads, how I'm doing it. Do a little montage stuff to where I'll speed it up and you see me working my butt off faster than I really do. Um, basically, a lot of the things that I've heard from people are like, Aren't you worried about becoming sedentary? Aren't you worried about becoming fat? I know you've lost a lot of weight. Like back in 2013, I lost about 100 pounds. Um, but I don't want to gain the weight back, right? So like, aren't you worried about that? Why do you think I picked flat bedding? Flat bedding, the, the tarps alone are like 100 and some odd pounds. I secure steel with big, heavy ass chains. I have to throw straps over giant loads and I have to crawl up there and then I have to take these 150 pound tarps or however much they are and drag those things up there in the cold and the rain and the bleh, bleh, bleh and all that stuff like that. It is a workout, folks. It is hands down a workout. I've lost six and a half pounds in a week. My back is stronger. My arms are stronger. My chest is stronger. My mood is better. I feel great. I'm eating right because I'm only eating what I put in my cooler over there. In my cooler. I'm only eating what I put in the cooler over there because I don't eat this truck stuff shit. You want to get fat, go in there and freaking do that. I see guys in there, you know, consume 10,000 calories worth of food in one meal and then come out and sit in their truck driving a van and not doing flat bedding. Anyway, I digress. I'm not worried about it. You know, the same people that are asking me this question are the same people that are sitting in a cubicle for 8 to 10 to 12 hours a day and then they go do their little pissy ass 45 minute workout and. <coughs> I don't know, curves or wherever some of you guys go. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I'm actually beating you in a workout. I'm, I'm working out more than you because doing a load or an unload is anywhere from 45 minutes to four hours. You know, it's not easy. So, anyway, that being that, that's my life, man. This is a good life. I'm enjoying the shit out of this. I miss my wife, you know, but I got to see her last night. She came and dropped me off to the truck and got me all the food and stuff I need. And she got me a little 
floor mats in here, so I got comfy carpet to put my feet on when I'm not driving. So I don't wear my shoes in the back. Back, that's my house. That's where my carpet is. I don't wear shoes on my little, little carpet. She got me this memory foam bath mat, velour bath mat. So when I get out of bed in the morning, my feet go ooh, in the memory foam. It's nice. Anyway. So, do a little tour tour of my truck here soon, and once I finish getting things in there, like the microwave and the coffee pot and all that shit like that, turn it into my little rolling man cave. But it's a great life. My official hire date after the academy was December 1st. January 1st, I have full health, medical, dental, vision, 401k, blah, blah. It's just tons of shit. It's awesome. This is a good life, good money. If I were you and you were looking for something to where you want to give yourself some value and get out there and do something, do the hard work, you don't have a boss breathing down your neck, you're driving the truck, listen to music you want, listen to audio books on tape or teach yourself a second language and have a job where you're physically active and things like that, this is the way to go, man. It's a great, great job. I love it. I'm going to be here for a while. It takes you a little while to figure out what you want to do in life. I've wanted to do this for a very, 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 very long time. But back when I wanted to do it, all my kids were really little. And, you know, you have kids, you just can't can't walk away from them, you know, the amount of kids that I had. And now that they're all grown and gone and kids this year, they want to live with their mom in Texas. So daddy's hitting the road. And I love it. So you guys behave yourself. Be good. Don't get in any trouble. I don't want to get any phone calls. No shenanigans. But be good to each other. Be happy. And uh, I'll see you all in the back hall. Later.